Hello my friends. Um, as you know I use this channel to share visions uh, with you all and uh, I'm going to take time to do that again right now. Uh, the only difference is now I'm going to be sharing a vision that I had um, months ago. And uh, um, the latest stuff that I've been putting on my channel is uh, for you, my friends and subscribers. Um, it's based on uh, my visionary gift. Um, I haven't shared this vision here yet. I don't, not to, the, not that I know of. I have shared it with, uh, um, you know, some um, people who are close to me. And uh, now I'm going to uh, uh, put it here um, for all of you. Uh, this is a vision that I had um, dealing with um, what what I call to be um, uh, a bird of fire, and um, I'll explain the whole vision. Basically, I was trying to type it out for my friend a few minutes ago, um, and you know, sometimes my computer does stuff, and so I try to type a bunch of stuff to people, and it ends up disappearing, and then I get really frustrated and angry. But what I'm going to do with this is just going to explain exact, basically and exactly just how I did. Um, I don't make any notes. I just say what I feel the same as I type what I feel. And uh, I like to uh, create it right on the moment and talk about it just as it is. So here it goes. Um, I had a vision. Um, and um, in my vision, um, it, it was between a dream, a, a, a waking dream, and uh, that's how it went. So um, it was months ago, and um, in that vision, um, somehow I was transported uh, somewhere. Um, I think it was maybe into the future so that I could see something that was happening on Earth. I think it was on Earth, or it might have been in another dimension. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that I was walking around in the vision, and um, I wasn't being harmed by the destruction that was going on there so that I could see and record and understand what was happening in the vision. Um, there was fire everywhere. I didn't get to see how the fire got there. I couldn't understand how it got there. Um, in the vision I was walking around, it looked like um, um, not any fire I'd ever seen before. It was different colors. Uh, it was white, red, um, yellow, and orange. But the way that the fire was dancing inside of itself and the way it was connected to itself looked different than any other fire I'd ever seen before. It, it wasn't like lightning or the fire that you, um, you know, would find uh, burning wood. It was different, uh, but it was everywhere, and it was. Uh, um, I had perceived and thought, and still believe that I, I had a vision of something that happened on Earth in the future, and uh, this dream was many months ago. So I looked in the dream as I was walking around, and uh, I seen the horizons, uh, as you can look out and see as far as you can in all directions. Uh, it was sort of like uh, uh, the land had been flattened out, but it had been flattened out because the mountains basically had been broken to bits and melted. And so I was looking uh, at this one person, and uh, as I walked up to them, I noticed that they looked sort of like me. And as I looked closer, I noticed that I was looking at my what I perceived at that time to be my twin. And so um, as I looked at, at my twin, I was disturbed because I... I, you know, I was, I was seeing someone that looked uh, so much like me that I might as well have just been looking in the mirror. But uh, I, I stumbled back away from the person, and uh, you know, in disbelief. And then all of a sudden, the fires that weren't hurting the f person at first, then they began to devour the person, and it happened really fast, like in seconds. And so the the skin was um, um, vaporized off. The all the uh, the muscle and stuff under that was uh, vaporized off and devoured by the fire, and um, then all that was left of the um, of the person I was looking at was only a skeleton. And the hot heat in the place where I was um, having a vision of on Earth, it was just unbelievable. So the skeleton actually looked like burnished uh, bronze, like molten, um, glowing metal, and. Um, I looked in a little bit closer and I seen the rib cage of the skeleton and there was a bird inside of it and it was kind of struggling around moving and it looked like it was trying to get out of there and then it, all of a sudden it let out a really loud screech sound and the sound of it sounded like a cross between a, a falcon and, a, and, a, and, a, and some sort of thunder and so 
when it did that the entire skeleton uh, shattered and it shattered into um, like a powdery looking stuff so that it was kind of like it it, it it made like a dust type looking effect in the fire and then fell into a clump and as it did that the bird spread its wings before it even hit the ground and started trying to fly out of the fire um, the bird was a fire bird it looked it looked like it was made out of fire not not like flesh like the uh, like the other man looked like that was in the fire uh, that got burned up but the birds start flying up toward the heaven and the bird was a uh, greenish looking fire greenish looking flames um, and yellow flames with the uh, black looking flames um, scattered throughout the green and yellow and the bird was flying toward the heavens and uh, it kept flying and flying and it was really angry and it was doing a lot of screeches and so it sounded like a falcon and thunder and it flew and it flew and finally as it got up toward the the higher heavens there was a white fire up there and it and it burned the birds wings off so the bird started to fall back down and um, it it let out one last screech and then uh, it fell back right back into the uh, pile of uh, dust that was left over from the bones that burned up and the bird uh, and the and the uh, dust it just end up getting vaporized the fire the white fire came down from heaven and it vaporized the um, both of them so there was nothing left and uh, I felt kind of disturbed in the in the vision and uh, because it looked like I'd seen someone that looked like me get vaporized and so I looked at it and uh, I was stunned uh, and I didn't know what to do or say or anything I just st just kept staring at the place where it was and it disappeared and it was um, vaporized and so I kept on looking at that same spot in disbelief and then finally a uh, spark um, was born out of the 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 white looking fire and the other different uh, different color fires that was right there and it was a spark and it grew into the size of about an orange and it turned into a, ba a little baby looking star and the little star was looking like a prism it was the color of the prism all sorts of different colors and uh, it looked different than the fire that was around it and um, it had a an aura around it that looked like neon green so the most prominent color in the fire of this prism looking star was greenish looking and so it was amazing looking to me because I never seen anything like it and I never had a vision um, that clear before and I just kept staring into the star like I was you know I couldn't see much more than that and uh, then um, suddenly out of nowhere the star just grew and it grew really big and it scared me and it and I saw so I stumbled back and almost fell down as it grew because it, it encompassed me and went past me and it went toward the heaven and it um, went down into the earth and it just went into the whole, whole horizon and it it um, it encompassed the entire fire that was there and um, it looked just like the color of the star a prism in the green color and the inside the star looked like I was looking at a, a prism and so then the star came back uh, and shrank down to the size of a, uh, a, a, a marble and then a spark again and then it just disappeared again and so um, I felt like I, I didn't know what was happening in the vision and uh, I was puzzled by that and I looked around me in all directions to the horizon I was left alone in a wasteland and uh, there was ashes everywhere and um, just rubble um, like pieces of little um, um, ashes um, you know just wasteland ashes and, and it just looked like uh, ashes and wasteland and then um, I thought it was that was it and uh, in the sky it looked like uh, it was real like a big cloud of smoking ash but all of a sudden I looked back to the same spot where it had disappeared to and it and it sort of reappeared but when it reappeared it materialized into the shape of a of a of a person and um, the person didn't look like me anymore 
it looked like it looked like a different sort of a. Di I mean, it looked like it looked like me, but it didn't look like it didn't look like it did before. It it was different, and so it looked like a person. Uh, the person was bigger, um, taller than me. Uh, had sort of the same face, but there wasn't much chair on there, and I uh, had a um, had a hood on his head, and um, his eyes were glowing. And I was trying to leave this, uh, type the message on one of my um, um, YouTube um, friends and subscribers uh, page, but it disappeared as I was typing it. And it did it two times, and it really makes me angry when that happens. So I decided to do it this way. And um, when I looked into the, I, I, I looked into the face of the person again. Um, their eyes were were glowing, and so. Um, he had on a black looking um, sort of a look like a suit and uh, it was white black and it had um, different colors and it had red in there and um, there looked like it had armor sewn into it somehow it was just different type of material than I'd ever seen before and uh, he had a, had a bow an arrow and a sword and the sword he had looked like it was made out of some sort of a some sort of um, something that was hot and glowing but uh, not like the Star Wars version of it it was different looking fire than I've ever seen so he looked at me and then he turned uh, and he looked um, in all the different directions and then he started to run toward the north and I just perceived that it was the north he ran off into um, and he was into, and he looked like he was making and he looked like he was making war but as he ran, as he ran, um, all the dust and everything kicked up around him. Like, I mean, he, it looked like, um, you know, like something moving at high velocity would move through something. And so it just turned it up to where it was uh, obscured, and the dust went everywhere, and I couldn't see him anymore. So I just felt like I needed to share the vision because I don't know exactly what the vision meant. I had the vision. Um, before um, I had another vision after that and I'll share that vision again I shared the vision on on video already but I'll share the vision again in my next video um, well not not no 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 I take that back I will not share that vision again in the next video but I will share the vision again in the near future um, I hope uh, that this has been an interesting uh, vision video for you um, I take my visions um, serious because um, it's part of my life, and it's um, something that I that I that I have to um, you know experience because I don't really have a choice in this. So I, I, I experience visions. Um, I, I, I don't have control of it. Uh, I just it happens sometimes. Sometimes when I'm awake, and sometimes it happens uh, when I'm asleep. So. Um, this is the latest vision share for you all, and I uh, hope that uh, you know it's interesting and it serves you well in some way. Um, I'm not sure exactly what um, it means exactly, but um, it was the most vivid vision that I ever had before. I haven't had one since like that that was that um, clear, and um, I just thought that I would uh, share it with you. So um, I hope that uh, I hope it serves you well, and uh, I will see you again. Uh, send with some more videos. Thanks.